I was born here on Great Hill, which is attached to Nut Island, and so it's been part of my life, my whole life. When I was a little girl, my mother would pack up sandwiches for us, and we'd walk out here and have our picnics. So Nut Island's been in my life forever. <laughs> and then when they made the new plant and the, all the new landscape, they needed someone to help take care of the landscape, and I offered to do that, and they were kind enough to hire me. And I was 69 years old then, and every year they allow me to come, and I, we have wildflower beds, and I take care of the wildflowers, plant them, make sure they flourish, and, you know, cl keep the island clean, picking up rubbish and emptying barrels and greeting people, and I get to meet so many nice people. I say um, I meet wonderful dogs, and they bring the nicest people with them. So we have a lot of fun down here, too. And there's wonderful men to work with the men that come and go, and the men that work in the building all the time. It, this is a sewage treatment facility. We can't forget that. It is an in industrial site that they have built a beautiful park for the neighborhood and the city. I am 86, I'll be 87 in July. Did you think you would still be doing this? Never in a million years, but God is good, and he's giving me the, the strength and durability to... Good morning, Jim. Nice to see you. The park is, means so much to me. My children grew up um, playing here and enjoying the park all their lives. And then my grandchildren. And two of my grandchildren were married here in Nut Island Park. One right here as you look over Boston and the other one at a memorial bench dedicated to my son Kevin who um, died in an automobile accident in 1987 when he was 31 and he was an MDC policeman and at that time Nut Island was controlled by the Metropolitan District Commission MDC and they put a lovely memorial bench in the park here in Kevin's name so that's very important to me and my and to my grandchildren who are Kevin's children and they were both married here in the park so it's special for our family in many ways and now I get to help take care of it, keep it beautiful, and keep all the invasives cut back, and that kind of thing. I think the people, and, um, and, and they get to love the pack too. And so that makes me feel good. And they're very respectful of the pack. Very rarely do I have to pick up much rubbish or any dog droppings, because we provide the bags for them to use to pick up after the dogs, and most everyone is is very respectful of it. The authority, Massachusetts Water Resource Authority, is kind enough to provide me with the wildflower seeds. So that's a wonderful saving. I drove up to the Vermont Wildflower Seed Company because I wanted wildflower seed that didn't have a lot of filler in it. They also come with a big rotorua and they rototill the wildflower beds up for me every three years or so and help me to plant the seeds. And then I try to keep all the invasive weeds out of it, which is very difficult because they do get invaded. And now we have a lovely wall on the, um, on the east side of the island. And along the wall, I've been able to plant wildflowers. And I watch the people from my house as they walk by there and they stop and admire those little blossoms all along the wall. It really lifts their spirits, you can tell it does. And the Girl Scouts come here, and they have meetings in our lovely community room, which is in the building. And now they're interested in doing some planting here, and I'm going to get together with the Girl Scouts, and they're going to help plant some of the wildflower seeds along that wall this year. Morning. The lupin, which are the first to come out, the beautiful purple lupin, they're the first to come out. Coreopsis is wonderful. The Coreopsis is great. This, oh, the sweet William. There's so many. I can't really think of all of them at the time. But the <laughs> yes, I'm a necker and proud of it. Very proud of being a necker. <laughs>